And then we got uh, the man, the 130k yes. view man. <laughs> Prince DJ, Prince DJ, they call him Prince DJ. <laughs> Prince, Prince, Prince. <laughs> What's going on Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. Man, we've done it. We've made it to the last day of the week for training. We just gotta smash this session out, but I can't lose focus. Maintain that focus, get sharper, keep going, and just blitz the session. That's gonna be the aim. So, we're gonna head out now. I'm meeting up with Lejean, or Tony, or Anthony. He's taking me to the training session, but afterwards, I'm pretty sure we're doing some sort of football tennis thing. So that should be a bit of fun, just a couple of the players. I'll probably see you guys there. Oh, looking forward to it all. Last day, let's go. See you later, Gucci, have a good day, bye. Now, just while I'm standing here waiting for my ride, huge question for you all. Do you prefer team training or just general training in the morning, like before school or before work or before whatever you do, or do you prefer it at night time? I can see benefits for both sides. I remember I used to train with Sydney FC and Wanderers. I have to wake up at like 5 a.m. And that's really good because you get it out of the way, just like today. But then the nighttime session, it's kind of nice to be training at night under the lights. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'm interested to hear. If I had to pick one, look, I think I'd just suck it up and go the morning, get it out of the way, and then that gives you the rest of the day to do pretty much whatever you want. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think? Session done. We got the boys, we got Jeff. Hey, oh, you didn't train? No, we didn't I didn't talk to I'm you. Not, I'm not part of it. <laughs> Tony, so what do you think, man? Uh, very hot, you know. You come Final week of training. Yeah, yeah. So we get we get Saturday and Sunday off now, so it's pretty chill. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go out for lunch and just hang out. Show, oh. show, show Sheldon some of Tulsa, you know. <laughs> There's a lot to is. see, man. A lot to see out here, yeah. And then we got uh, the man. The 130k view, yes, man. Sir. <laughs> Prince DJ, Prince DJ. They call him Prince DJ. Prince, <laughs> Prince, Prince. How you going, bro? What do you think of the session? Uh, it was fun. Uh, it was super hot, but it's probably the most fun I've had in a while, so. Oh, and team you- suck. Team Yeah, suck. no. Uh, we Obviously, can't. my team won. <laughs> we won't talk about it. <laughs> but you guys won, and yeah, we had a decent sesh. Loved it. Now, lunch. What are we thinking? I suggested Wingstop because I've only been one. Wingstop. If Chick fil A was open, we'd go, go, go to Chick fil A. But Chick -fil -A Panda Express, yeah? No, no, no. Wingstop. 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 Let's what? go get some wings. Alright, Wingstop it is. Ooh, let's go. On Sheldon. Give us a touch. He's oh, back. Those pickers, now. Woo. Give me that curve. Oh. oh, oh. Let's go! <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> hey, Drew, go get that. No, don't send Drew, you have to go get it. We got the food, fries, or chips. I got a barbecue with the Louisiana rub. Woo. Looking good, boys. I got vegetarian for my diet, you know? Vegetarian fries <laughs> and vegetarian chicken. Same with you, Tony, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, all my American brothers, you, oh, you understand Wingstop. That's the second time I've had Wingstop since being over here. First one was kind of like a, oh my God, I have to try Wings, American food. This time it was just a cheap meal. A bit of time to spend with the boys, but... So, look, it's not the best thing to put in your body after a sesh, but it's the end of the week. You know, it's fine. I'm not gonna die, we're not gonna die. But I'll tell you what, I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm so full, man. Gucci! How you going, kitty? Kitty! Man, oh man. Oh, I pretty much just laid on the lounge and had a nap. I don't normally have naps, but this week has just been exhausting. Really good stuff. <laughs> Gucci had to sleep with me as well. Isn't she cute? Hey, Gucci. So we just had a nap together, had a sleep, bit of time to relax, but I don't know, I feel even more tired after the nap. I just want to go back to sleep. I know I shouldn't because I'd mess up my schedule so bad. So I don't really know if the nap was beneficial. And uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't normally do this. Gucci, was it good? Did you have a good sleep? If you had a good sleep, that's all that matters. I'm feeling much better after that nap. I'm sure Gucci is as well. But I was just on the phone with Dad and Claire and I actually got some news, which is, man, it's actually pretty upsetting. So as most of you guys know, back in Australia, I have a dog called Spencer. I've had this dog since, well, we've had this dog as a family since I was 
about seven or eight years old, I'd say. And man, I absolutely love this doggy. Ah, oh, man. He's just, he used to be so cool. But right before I was leaving, I kind of knew it was the last time I'd seen him. He's about 14, 15 years old. And I kind of knew that this was his last sort of month. I didn't think I'd see him again. He's at the stage in his life where he struggles to walk, struggles to really do anything. He just lays around all day. And Dad and Claire told me that like, they were almost crying at how close to like death he was. Well, is because like, he just won't eat his dinner. He's just struggling to walk and man, that sucks. I, I really do love this dog, man, and it's so sad, like, <sighs> sucks, <sighs> wow. We got Spencer in the car with me. How you going, doggy? I haven't seen you in a minute. We got him strapped up, look, he's got the seatbelt on, always being safe, he loves it, absolutely loves it, so we're driving home together. After training, I just went and picked him up. He's getting pretty old, he got a little bit scared, I think he's a little bit scared now, but don't worry, my driving's all right, it's not that bad. It's it's all right. So yeah, it is really, it's sad because this dog has been such a big part of my life. I've loved him so much. And we've had some good times together, me and Spencer. We really have. But it looks like he's at the point where he's not even enjoying life anymore and we may have to put him down. I don't know the full details yet. I think in a week I'll know what's going on, but it's so sad, man. It's tough. As you guys know, like, back in Australia, I didn't really, I didn't hang out with my friends a whole lot. And I'd say I hang out with Spence a lot. We just lay down, we cuddled, we play, we went on walks together. A dog's a man's best friend, but it's a real tough one to take. I'm gonna shoot it over to Papa Tweety and he's gonna kind of do like a last vlog with Spence. Uh, poor old Spence, we thought it'd be a good idea to Give him a bit of a, um, perhaps it's a goodbye to the vlog. He's been a cameo star appearing now and again. If you've been watching the vlog for long enough, you would have seen him in a few episodes when Sheldon's been in Australia or perhaps when I've been talking to Sheldon overseas. But anyway, it looks like he's on the way out. I've dug up an old video that shows him when he was at his prime and I've made a new one that shows him as he is now, really struggling. And unfortunately, dogs don't live forever. Neither do people. But dogs last a lot less time than people. Spencer's about nearly 15 years old, I think. And I'd say he's on his last legs, obviously. I think there's a bit of a lesson there for young footballers which is that you don't have an endless amount of time in your life you've only got one life as sheldon would say make the most of it spencer's had a good life chased a lot of balls had a lot of fun lived his dreams you should try and do the same time is short every minute counts get into it but anyway it's very sad about spence our beloved dog not to be on this planet much longer and we're all pretty sad about it. See you later. Man, just come outside for a little walk mainly. I also need to take the trash out. So it's an excuse to get outside, but man, it's hot. It's 34 degrees and it's 7 p.m. I don't even remember Australia being like this and it's still so bright as well. I have no idea where I'm taking this trash. Last time I saw Matt, he went around here, so I'm guessing it's this thing there. But my sights are set on next week, the huge week of training, trialing, this week was the preparation. I thought I did well, and the assistant coach said to me, oh, are you coming next week? I said, yep. So obviously he's showing some sort of interest, which is good to see. Now, how on earth do we get in here? I'll just lift this thing up and in we go. Yep, there you go. And I'm guessing, let's take a look. Oh, I won't show you guys. Yeah, you just chuck your trash in. Easy as that. How weird. I know they have this in England, but I don't know, I've never really seen a communal dumpster place. Anyway, it's good to get outside, man. I love this view. This is probably one of my favorite things about this little area that I've seen. It's just like a hill and you get the highway. I think that's awesome, bro. So still nothing to do. Couldn't watch NFL last night. There's no NFL on tonight. Matt doesn't play till tomorrow and then Matt gets back on Sunday night. So I think I'll cook dinner for him. Thinking of Goslimi, I reckon he'll like that. So we're gonna head back inside. Oh, it's so hot out here, man. I'm just having my dinner now, which is chicken, 
some capsicum, some carrot, and some basamati rice. Got this recipe off Matt. It's super easy, and it's pretty good food. I mean, it's very good food. You probably want to have brown rice instead of white rice, but it's not the end of the day. I'm actually just watching a live stream now, learning a bit more about Facebook ads because I'm trying to attack that. The amount of time I have sitting in this sort of apartment place with Gucci, I want to learn things, especially when football is so draining during the morning. This is something that I'm interested in. Little hobby. I mean, it's probably a lot better than playing PlayStation or Xbox all day. So this is dinner. Feel a bit better from before sorry for putting that on you guys but it's you know I really want to share this sort of journey with you guys I don't want to leave things out I don't want to be down and not tell you guys sometimes I like to keep things private but I feel like Spence has been a huge part of the vlogs I love that dog man I love him he puts a smile on my face so gonna eat dinner and then chill a bit more and then it's gonna be bedtime soonish all right look we'll do it for the ow look at this cut <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> Are you stuck or are you just like... <laughs> Gucci! Gucci, Gucci! Ooh, fire up! Off to bed. Trainings are done for the week, so I get the day off tomorrow. And then the huge focus is for next week's training sessions. That's when the head coach will be in there. That's when all of the players that traveled on the away trip will be back. So really got to perform there, man. It's one of the things that I'm so interested about and almost excited about throughout this journey is seeing where I end up. Is Tulsa going to be the team that I signed for? I think... Tulsa is going to be very, very difficult. They brought in an international winger, one or two of them quite recently. And I think one of them has two goals in three games. So it's, you know, that's hard to knock off, especially when he gets to play the rest of the games and I'm training. So that's difficult. I, I've watched this guy once or twice. He's a very good player. But yeah, I, I really don't know what's going to happen. All that I can do is focus on myself, make sure that when I go to the trainings, I perform. That's literally all I can do. If they're not looking for a winger or if they've just already decided on their wingers and number 10 for next season, then I mean, that's just unlucky. That's just how football goes sometimes. I remember Matt told me he signed, he tried for 16 teams or something before he signed his first pro contract. It's crazy, that's how it goes. Tomorrow, rest day, recovery day. Let's go. Team 3, I'm signing out. Make sure you like and subscribe. And enjoy Jenny. I'll see you in the rest of your